Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 20 of my Unity Make an RPG series. Uh, today I'm going to be going continue going over our, our leveling our script and process and how we're going to handle that. A uh, couple things. One, Camp Lee, all the support you guys is super nice. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. The wonderful comments I've been getting, they're great. Um, thank you for passing on my videos. I can't believe I'm almost at 50 subscri subscribers. I might be there today. I haven't checked. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to continue putting these videos out as much as I can. Um, I've said before I, I travel a lot for work. I am going to be moving uh, in July, and I should set my traveling should settle a lot down then, and I can make better videos because I'll have my uh, actual desktop PC instead of my laptop. But getting back to the video at hand, um, the first thing I need to cover is this glaring issue of a few exceptions that I left left with you guys, and I apologize. Uh, there's a, a few errors that we need to fix, and the first one is I left the class as a uh, public, non-static class, and the way I access it in our turn-based combat script, excuse me, is a I access it like it's a, a static class. So in our turn-based combat state machine. I have here, I say increase experience dot add experience, which is a valid line of code. However, our increase experience class isn't static, meaning it can't access it, and it's not the only one. So what we need to do first is make our public class a stat public static class. So I'm going to go in here and add static. I'm going to control us to save. The next thing I need to do is make this uh, float variable a static as well. Press enter this and then control save and then we have our functions as static, which are which is exactly what we need. Except we did we didn't I didn't uh, create a private function as static, so I'm going to do that as well. And then there's one other issue, and it's right here. Basically, when I add this XP, um, and you can see I did it here. It's I say XP val or XP to give us a float value, which is perfect for the, us calculating right here. That's what we want. However. Um, our current XP is an integer, it's an int. So we can either typecast it like I did here, or I can just go up here, and I'm just going to change this to an integer because I know our level is always going to be a whole number, and I know 100 is always a whole number, and 10 is always a whole number. So there's no point in telling it else, uh, telling it something else. So I'm going to troll us to save. I'm going to go back to Unity, and our errors should be gone, and they are, which is perfect. So the next thing I'm going to talk about, or I'm going to show you guys, is a uh, reward experience script that I wrote for another project. And I'm going to kind of show you uh, an algorithm, run you through an algorithm I actually found online and kind of reworked to fit my pro, to fit my um, game. Uh, feel free to copy it. You guys can pause the video and look at it when I go to it. But basically, it creates a nice experience curve up to a maximum uh, number of experience you want, and it bases it on your uh, character's level. Um, so here's the script and um, like I said it's for another project I, w I was I've working on and here here's where it calculates how much uh, XP is for the next level and it's a lot of it's a it's a good it's a good amount of math you guys definitely look at it uh, you set a minimum or a maximum level you set a uh, minimum XP for the first level and then a maximum XP for the level 50 in this case it's level 50, it can be whatever you want. Um, and it goes around, there's two formulas and it generates at the end of it, it generates a, uh, a round out to the uh, nearest 10, like a whole number. And it gives me a value that I save as the next required XP. And what I mean by that is when we level up, we need to set the next level of experience for our character. So let's say when you start, when a new player starts, they have their required XP is 200. And so they hit that twice and now they level up. Well, you need to reset that, you need to reset the required XP to the next value. And there's a number of ways you can do that. You can set it up using different uh, math functions like a quadratic or an exponential function or even a linear function, uh, you know, depending on what you want. And what I suggest <clears throat> you guys do is go to wolframalpha.com it's a uh, basically it's basically a calculator online, but you can play around with graphs and kind of get an ex experience curve that really fits your fits what you want for your game. Uh, it's definitely going to take some time to play around with it. Um, 
once you find something you like, though, definitely keep it. I think for this, if I create one, it's just going to be a simple linear curve, you know, uh, not linear uh, progression, nothing insane because I don't, I'm not great at coming up with my own algorithms for that kind of thing. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys can suggest one and I can implement it. So where we left off last time is that we created the script where we said, okay, we're going to check to see if the player leveled. And if they leveled up, then we want to access a level up script where we can kind of go into detail on what happens when the player levels up. So in our um, in our uh, Unity in our scripts folder, I'm going to create a new script, and I'm going to call it uh, level up. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to open that up in model develop. And we have a lot of scripts open, but that's okay. I'm going to drag the tab and bring it next to increase experience, so I can kind of go back and forth. Uh, we don't need model behavior. We're not going to be inheriting from that. I'm going to leave Unity Engine because we might uh, use the Unity Engine math functions. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go in here and we're going to create our class and we're, or our function, and we're going to make it a public. Uh, it's going to return a void, and it's going to be uh, level up, and we'll call it level up character. And this is the function that we're going to call. We're going to call this function and say, as soon as we level up, okay, what do we need to do? And maybe you need you want to uh, give player um, stat points. Maybe they have uh, allocation stat points. Maybe you want to randomly uh, decide to give them uh, items. Uh, give them a move. Or remove such ability. Um, maybe you want to give him money. Uh, give money. Anything. This is where we're going to do that. And we're also going to determine the the next amount of required experience. Okay. So what I like to do is when I decide. Uh, basically, when I when I decide what I want to add for a level up, I go around and I make these comments. And then underneath that comment, I actually create the function or the script, whatever controls that. So like under determine the next amount of required XP, we're going to say, okay, let's come down here and we're going to make a function for that. We'll go private void and we'll say determine uh, required XP. And now we got to think about what do we need to determine our required XP. Well, I said I'm going to just um, I said I'm just going to create a linear function or progression function for our uh, next required uh, XP. So what I'll do is um, let's say we'll have a temp float or float temp is equal to uh, What's a good function? We can do like play, maybe like player level times. Uh, hmm. Player level times a hundred plus something. Let's do that. That'd be easy. So we'll go game information dot player level times. So let's say let's say thou. Uh, hmm. One. We'll say a hundred, and we'll add. Well, yeah, okay, we're going to say 1,000, <laughs> and we'll add, let me do some parentheses just to make sure that we, we get our calculation correct, and then we'll add an extra 250 to it. I don't know. Works for me. Something simple. It's going to create a very linear function. It's just going to increase by, uh, it's going to increase, increase based on the level and then plus 250, so... So now we have this temporary variable. We have the value we want, and now we need to save it in our game information. So we'll go game information dot required XP is now equal to temp. Okay. Now the next. So in our go back to increase experience, and now we have a leftover bit of X. Our current XP. We got to check to make sure that our current XP that we just gained. Is it isn't enough to level us up again, or or we need and we need to add it back to our current XP. Like so, so we need to subtract it from the required and then add it back. Um, 
So in our um, increase experience function, we want to write another func or class. We want to write another uh, function kind of uh, okay so I'm gonna actually we're gonna write this function in our uh, level up script so <clears throat> when we level up the first thing I'm gonna write here first thing we need to do is check to see if uh, current XP is greater than uh, required XP. Now we we do know that we leveled up, and that means that it means two things: that we either have current XP greater than, or our current is equal to required. And if it's greater, we need to subtract it from the uh, required. We need to subtract current from the required so that we can keep what's left. So we're going to do if game information dot current XP. Oh, I can type current XP is greater than our uh, game information dot required then we want to say um, game information dot current XP minus equals uh, game information dot required So what this does is saying if it's greater, then we're going to subtract whatever is out of here and then and set it equal to this. So it's going to subtract current XP from required, and whatever's left is going to set it back equal to uh, current, and that makes it so that we can keep whatever we can keep. Say okay, say we need 100 to level up. You got 120. Well, that means it's going to take the 100 away and let you keep the 20. So it goes towards the next level. That's all that does. And then we'll create it else just to be safe, and we'll say else. Um, game information dot current and we'll set that equal to zero so that's just a catch all if it doesn't fit that then we'll just set equal to zero and there's no big deal but either way, it's going to either fall under this category or this category one or the other so and like I said this is how I like setting it up oh. uh, I like writing a comment so I know what I did and then I can go in there and just write the, the code for it and then now we're gonna come down to this determine the next amount of required XP we're gonna call the determine required XP and then uh, so we do that and it's gonna come down here it's gonna we're gonna create a temporary variable it's gonna uh, it's gonna actually be an integer um, and then we're gonna return I don't need to return it we'll just set it I set it equal to here and then that's all I ha that's all I actually need, <clears throat> excuse me need to do with this list level up. Um, if you want to give more money, let's say uh, I didn't create a variable for money or any of these, but uh, you guys easily can. Um, in our uh, if let's say you want to add money, you can create a uh, private uh, void determine uh, money. Let's say determine money to give. And in this, you could say uh, if the player, like you know, if game information dot player level is equal is less than or equal to, let's say ten, you can give a certain amount of money. Uh, give a certain amount of money. Or you can, or you can just create another function, uh, or an algorithm, a linear one maybe. You could do the same one we did up here. You get, uh, or you can just give it a base amount. You can say, give a thousand gold every time you level up, a thousand copper, whatever your currency is. If you have currency, maybe you just want to do XP. Maybe leveling up is just experience. Um, and anyways, this is the basic how you'd set it up. You want to first check to see required versus current, uh, and subtract so you can keep the same current amount. And then you want to determine the next. And like I said before, this is this is the function I used uh, for my my game I work on now. It's pretty complex. Feel free to copy it, use it for your projects. Uh, if you have more questions about it, I can go through it. Um, this basically rounds it off to a nearest uh, tenth because uh, I want to hold numbers and I don't want uh, float numbers, which all this is. 
Uh, but anyway, that's basically it. Uh, in the next video, I'll go over some more. Maybe you guys have more questions. I can try to answer them. But basically, I'll go over more of uh, how how to access this level up script through our increased experience script. I might change these all back. I might change change this to an object that you can just uh, access because it's an object oriented program instead of using a static variable. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. Thank you again for all the comments. Thank you for subscribing. I'm trying my best. Uh, hopefully the videos get better. I'm going to try to work on different intros because um, the one I have right now is getting kind of old and boring. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time.